These are ejector pins. When the mold is opened, these pins, along with the sprue puller pin, are pushed forward to eject the runner and plastic parts out of the mold. At the base of the mold is the ejector housing. The ejector housing is usually bolted to the core retainer plate through the support plate. The ejector plate and ejector retainer plate inside this housing hold the heads of the ejector pins and the sprue puller pin. The ejector plates are moved by a hydraulic or electric actuated ejector system. A mold also has coolant passages to control its temperature. A liquid, usually water, is circulated through these passages to take away the heat given off by the plastic. If the mold is run hot, greater than about 40 degrees Celsius or 105 degrees Fahrenheit, it's a good idea to put insulation board between the mold and the machine platens. This reduces the temperature variation in the mold. It also reduces the thermal expansion of the platens. Now we'll look at the plastic flow passages in the mold. We saw this part earlier. Here is the sprue, runner, gates, and the cavities which will form the plastic part. The common runner shapes are round and trapezoid. Sometimes half round runners are used. Runners are often oversized. The size of the runner should be large enough to allow plastic flow without a large pressure loss, but small enough to be frozen when the molded part has cooled. 